Okay guys, so we're here in the park and we're ready to test out these filters, see if they work on the Mavic. My guy, it is so hot. It is so hot. It's like 100 degrees out right now. It is so damn hot. Let me show you. Now if that ain't hot, I don't know what to tell you. Rain, sleet, snow, shine. Hot, cold, I'd fly anytime. But if you are gonna fly in this weather, you're definitely going to need yourself some ND filters. They are what I would like to call a necessity, especially in times like this. The heat is real. I gotta make sure no car just rolls up and just squashes it. Takeoff. When I'm filming, when I'm recording, doing anything, I am always in S mode, shutter priority. Now as you can see, I'm in S mode and it's it's like totally red. Now why am I going into S mode? S mode is shutter priority and, and what that means, it's kind of like auto, except, I mean the camera does everything automatically except your shutter. You adjust your shutter. Now I sh adjusted my shutter to 150 and the camera will always try to keep the image exposed, which is not happening right now because it's 100 degrees, the sun is kicking like crazy so it's overexposed right now as you can see the sky is totally totally blown out you can't even see the blue in the sky and that's because the camera is fighting to keep the shutter speed at 150th ISO all the way down which is as dark as the image can get and still maintain an exposure of zero it's like it's not happening it doesn't have the capacity now the camera has adjusted automatically the aperture to f11 which is probably as closed as possible as dark as the image can get as possible and it's still telling me that my shutter is overexposed meaning that my image is too bright but I want it at 150 at shutter speed and the reason I want it at 150 at shutter speed and I'm not willing to compromise is because I'm shooting at 4k 24 frames a second and ideally when you're shooting at 4k 24 frames a second you want your shutter speed to be double your frame rate does that make sense so I mean you can just drop this bad boy in, in auto let me show you right now drop it in auto and it's gonna expose the image now you can see the blue you can actually see some clouds ain't that amazing but guess what once you start to move look at your shutter you're at 1 200 is that what you want you want your your, your shutter speed to be 1 200 that's way past double your frame rate so for that reason I want my cinem my footage to be cinematic I want my footage to be smooth so for that reason and that reason only I go into shutter priority mode I leave my shutter at double my frame rate and well as you can see I'm blown out to high heaven I don't want that so let's bring the drone back down and swap it out put on these I've got these filters here type photo we'll unbox them in a second so you can see what they're like www.mytyphoto.com you can check them out there they're like 49 bucks for these filters comes with its own cleaning rag and everything a bunch of different filters we'll talk about the four filters that it comes with later but I'm gonna pop an ND on here and we're gonna see what difference this makes Cough.
now we're in shutter priority and the shutter speed is at 150th let's turn the exposure exposure to zero now it's set up now it's done so guess what now I can fly up into the sky look at my f-stop now it's at 7.1 as I'm looking up in the sky my shutter has not moved I'm still at my 150th shutter speed and as you move away from the Sun and the Sun gets behind you or you move down to the ground blocking most of the Sun then the f-stop will adjust but it will never ever ever mess One other key thing to note here is that the filters do work with the cover or the guard, the gimbal guard on. So that's a pretty cool feature. You don't have to swap the filter and put on back the original cover just to get the guard to fit. So let's head back to my place. I like this little logo thing in the jiggy here. It looks really nice. The cover pops off nice and easy. And ooh, what are we greeted with here? Tag us on Instagram showcasing your new filters and what you can do with them to be put in front of a hundred thousand plus photographers around the world in the Thai photo community oh my gosh there's a community I've got to check this out and so can you and definitely I'm gonna be putting my photos in there I don't know about you uh, ooh, we have Let's put the box aside we have our magic fiber it looks like a glass cleaner almost it is. That's the basic stuff. See if you can open that up. Oh my gosh, we have four nicely parcel filters over here. That looks clean. So now we have a ND4, we have a ND8, we have an ND16, and we have a CPL filter, which is a circular polarized filter, which is pretty good. I personally use the ND4 and the ND8 on my Phantom 4 Pro and that's pretty much all I need. Sometimes when the sun is really hot, I wish I had an ND16, but for the most part, that's about it. Okay, so let's see how these filters come off and how they go on on the Mavic 2. So we're just going to Hasselblad, you turn this to the side. Not the best filter design, but it is what it is. I think we're gonna go a day like to this with an ND8. So I'm just gonna pop off the ND8. Now what I do like about it, it almost matches the original case. So, uh, well, with the exception of the Hasselblad, which they can't use. So it almost looks like there's no filter when it goes on there. At least that's what I'm imagining. Oh, you see this one's got a special, it's bigger. Oh. This one is bigger compared to the others. And that tells me that it's this side, side that yeah. goes over there. Okay, so pretty cool. There you go, just slide it in, press and twist. Kinda you kinda gotta apply some pressure down as you're turning. That's the trick. You press down and you turn. Yeah, so the same thing here, you press down and you turn to take it off, you press down and turn to put it on. So yeah. There you go. I guess you get the hang of it. Fits pretty cool and it kinda looks as though um, there's no filter on at first glance. It's circular, which is strange, not the usual, uh, you know, 
octagonal stuff, but as long as it doesn't block the vision. Okay, now to summarize and wrap things up, number one, I have never used Polar Pro filters, and that's because every time I've decided to buy filters or, or get filters for any drone or camera, a company comes along and sends me their filters, so I've never had a reason to. And I can't say that there's any particular company that makes filters that I've tried and I don't like or they work horribly or have had a bad experience, in particular NB, ND filters. I'm not a big fan of polarized filters because they tend to add some color. And I don't like that color. I don't want to work in the post to take that color out. I like shooting natural or shooting in, in decent alike or D-log and then messing with my colors as opposed to getting something with some kind of shade or colors in it and then having to reverse it. These work good. I've just tested them out. I've flown with them. Um, they're $49 for a pack of four. Uh, the four common filters that you're probably going to need and use with the Mavic uh, 2 Pro because it does have a built-in aperture which helps to keep some of the light out so you don't need in my opinion a wide variety of filters unless you're doing something extremely professional that goes beyond YouTube so do I recommend these filters absolutely these filters are good they're very cost-effective and I haven't had a problem with them the camera starts up it goes through its motion uh, with no problems I've never had any balancing error any camera error nothing of the sort and therefore I give these filters a big thumbs up I hope this video was helpful as always big leave a big thumbs up thumbs down whatever works for you you don't have to like everything uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos uh, always comment below let me know what type of videos you want to make as long as I have the resources and the time I'll definitely put in the effort and get that done uh, make sure you check out my patreon account become a patreon it's a great way to support me and yes i do want to start giving away drones again and as soon as i hit 1800 patrons i will start the big stuff i will look for smaller stuff along the way to give my patrons stuff like gimbals that i've been giving away t-shirts and little stuff like that until we hit the big threshold so if you're not a patron it's a great way to support me and a great opportunity to maybe win something with that being said as always i'd like to thank autonomous drone services madmixtube.com and bronx drone camp for providing us with the mavic 2 pro for us to use and make this test video with i'd also like to thank thai photo for sending us these filters they're very unique i like the style the colors and uh definitely check them out on instagram <music>